predicting patterns of motion. Big question, can we predict the motion of an object that moves in regular patterns? Forces can get things moving. A force can also change the speed or direction of an object's motion. When regular forces help and move an object up and down, side to side, back and forth, or in a zigzag motion, you may be able to notice a regular pattern of motion as a result. A child swings back and forth at a playground. Once the force of her muscles gets her going, she stops supplying muscle force, and her motion becomes regular. She goes forward and backward. She goes up and then down. As she swings, only the forces of gravity and friction AE act. Her motion. What forces act to get the girl moving and what forces act on her as she swings? Patterns of motion. Back and forth look. At the highest part of her swing, the girl is at rest for just a moment. While she is still at that highest point, only one force gravity is acting on her. The force of gravity has slowed her down, and now her motion is stopped. What happens next? The force of Earth's gravity continues to pull her toward the ground. Then she will move backward and swing to another high point on the other side. She will come to a rest again. You could record data of her movements in a science notebook. You could use this data to show that all her motion repeats in a pattern if the same pushes and pulls continue. Other forces will also act her motion as she swings. Air brushes across her. The hinges on the swing rub against the chain of the swing. If the girl does not use her muscles to keep swinging, friction will slow her down and eventually cause her to stop. Up and down to predict is to say something that is expected to happen. Knowing about an object's pattern of motion helps you predict how it will move next. Look at the two friends in this picture. They are playing on a seesaw. One girl used the force of her leg muscles to push herself up. This force is now greater than the force of gravity on the girl. She goes up. When she does, the other girl moves down. In a moment, the lower girl will push herself up with the force of the muscles in her legs. It is easy to predict how she will move and how the other girl will move because these movements are part of a regular pattern. Based on what you know about the movement of a seesaw, can you predict what will happen next? Can you identify the forces that change the seesaw's motion? Back and forth. The movement of this clock's hands are caused by the regular pattern of the clock's pendulum. The part hanging below the face of this clock is a pendulum. A pendulum is a device in which a weight, called a bob, swings back and forth. Each swing takes the same amount of time. Back and forth it swings. The motion is regular. That means it is a pattern that repeats itself over and over. The pendulum swings back and forth, much like the girl on the playground's swing. A pendulum experiences the same forces, gravity and friction, as it moves. What is the pendulum's pattern of motion and how can you predict future motion? Patterns of motion are predictable. Hardly anything is more predictable than the movement of the hands of a clock. The pendulum swings, and time ticks on. The hands move from 1 to 1.15 to 1.30, and so on. Clocks are designed to display the time based on regular patterns of motion. It is easy to predict motion in the future if you can describe and understand its regular patterns. A clock like this displays several patterns of motion. The pendulum swings back and forth, left, center, right, back to center, left, and so on. The minute hand rotates. It points to all the numbers around the circular clock face once every hour. The hour hand rotates. It points to all the numbers around the circular clock face once every 12 hours. 17. Around and around this boy and girl are playing tetherball. They are using the muscles in their arms to move the ball. The goal of the game is to wrap the rope around the pole. The girl has made the ball go around the pole three times. Predict what the ball will do when she pushes it again. If her opponent never hits the ball, the ball will go around and around in the same direction of the push given to it by the girl. It's easy to predict possible motion once you understand a regular pattern. 
Think of things that move up and down, around in circles, and back and forth. When you observe regular patterns in an object's motion, you can predict which way it will move next. What is the tetherball's pattern of motion if the boy never hits the ball?